take off that parachute. What for? If you don't mind, Mr. Parker, will you take over the controls? Very clever, Miss Randolph, but badly timed. Now you will both have the experience you so kindly prepared for me. May I remind you that among my people, honor is a sacred thing, and those who defile it can expect no mercy. miles are here. We've got one chance. If I can clear the top of that mountain, we might be able to glide to a landing on the other side. the last-minute change in our plans. Have you notified the members of the site and council to assemble? They are waiting for you at the temple. Gentlemen of the site band. You will be gratified to learn that I have secured the Dalai Scroll, second link to the chain that will lead us to the location of Genghis Khan's tomb and the sacred scepter. The tribesmen are ripe for revolt now, but unless we can bring them the scepter... Within a few weeks, I shall be in possession of the scepter, and I shall lead the tribesmen in a revolt that will sweep every white enemy from the continent of Asia. The manuscript I have just obtained indicates another scroll, third link in the chain that will lead us to the location of the lost tomb. I plan to secure this scroll at once. I realize we're both fortunate to be alive, but I still feel responsible for the loss of the scroll. Oh, don't be too downhearted. We haven't really lost it. What do you mean? We took the precaution of having a photostatic copy made of it before you gave it to Fu Manchu. You did? Where is it? We finally got Professor Humphrey to translate it for us. Uh, Randolph has the copy. Sir Nalan. It seems that the utmost caution was exercised in safeguarding the tomb of Genghis Khan. You mean this has been a wild goose chase? Well, not at all. Now, this manuscript does give us a clue to the document that will lead us to the tomb. A document that was hidden away in the tomb of Kelba Khan. Why, all the documents from Kelba Khan's tomb were brought to this country. That is correct. They're in the possession of Dr. Chang, an oriental importer in this city. Now, the paper you want is undoubtedly there, and you should have no trouble in getting a copy of it. Well, neither will Fu Manchu. Oh, yes, Sir Nalan, I have the entire Kelbacan collection. We've just found out that one of those papers is extremely important, and that Fu Manchu may attempt to get it from you. Please take every precaution to protect it. We'll be down as quickly as possible. Very good, Sir Nalan. Goodbye. I see we arrived just in time, Dr. Cheng. Please get me that Kelba Khan document at once. Your fame precedes you, Dr. Fu Manchu. I have promised the document to someone else. You force me into a most distasteful act. Tie him up. 
oblige me by telling me where this document is. You are very stubborn, my dear doctor. This is your final demonstration, Dr. Chang. Are you still not convinced that I will stop at nothing to get that document? Have you changed your mind, Dr. Chen? meant for us. Dr. Chang! He's getting away! It's too late to stop it now. Let's take care of Dr. Chang. May we see the document now, Dr. Chang? Certainly. But it won't be necessary. I am thoroughly familiar with its contents. Splendid. What does it say? It refers to an inscription in the Temple of the Blind Dragon, which can only be translated with the addition of the Kardak segment. The Kardak segment was taken from the temple and brought to this country. It is now in the possession of Mr. Ezra Howard at his country estate in Sonoma. I'll call Mr. Howard at once. I'm afraid that is impossible. Mr. Howard is very eccentric. He lives like a hermit on that estate and allows no phone. We can still drive up there. Right. Wu Manchu! We'll contact you later, Dr. Chang.
must have gone in up there. One of these may fit the lock. I'll go around the back. There should be a fire escape or a rear entrance. Right. Be careful of them. Mr. Parker. <laughs> I welcome your arrival, Mr. Parker. You see, the Dacoit died before he could give me any information. Now, you can tell me what was in the Kelba Khan manuscript. Dr. Chang gave you my answer. His answer would have been otherwise had you not arrived when you did. I am certain you will not be so fortunate. devices for extracting information from stubborn witnesses. But I'm honoring you by the use of an arrangement invented by one of your own countrymen. You're undoubtedly familiar with the admirable writings of Edgar Allan Poe, so you will have no difficulty in recognizing this device described in his short story, The Pit and the Pendulum. how effectively this machine works. You will, I trust, be persuaded to give me the information I require. to you so great. I am certain you will see the wisdom of changing your decision. 